What's up, survivors? Welcome back to another Myth of Empires update maintenance patch. All right, now I know I've skipped the last, what, two or three, but those have been really teeny weeny ones that most of the time didn't really do anything. However, this one actually does some stuff and some things I'm a little questionable about, but it's an update all the same. But anyways, we're going to jump right into this one real quickly. So I'm going to read over it real fast. Hopefully you guys are all having a great day. This one came out after I went to bed. So unfortunately, it's coming out right now. All right. <laughs> so first and foremost, we're getting some additional content added to the game. Uh, from what I've noticed so far, most of this really isn't anything special. Uh, most of it has to do with the guild shop and game uh, connected to the gold token tab. So we're going to start off with that real quick. So they made some changes to the UI for the gold token tab in the guild shop. Um, it can now be located in the bottom right corner of the shop interface. Um, new items have been added to the guild shop. It looks like they added a bunch of cakes that you can now purchase. Total of five of them. Um, until March 31st. I'm wondering if this is just a special thing they're doing right now. Um, that this is the thing I was a little questionable about, but we'll have to see. I'm hoping because I think these might be those like buff cakes. So I'm guessing they're going to allow you to purchase those until March 31st um, from the guild token shop in the guild shop. So seems a little little. Uh, uh. I mean, I know you can only purchase five five at a time and that's guild based so that's the advantage to that i don't know I, i'm not a big fan of them doing stuff like this if that's what i think it is i'll have to double check um if there is a screenshot up that would be uh i already double checked all right uh third um makeup cases um are now under the guild shop under the gold token tab so now you can just straight up purchase the makeup kits i like that that is a good move uh, for those of us that just don't want to gather the resources in game um, or spend the what is that like 30 40 copper coins in game 40k copper coins to be able to make them um, you can just buy them now which is good i like it um, they've added some new character customization options um, not too sure what these are yet but there are some new character customization options uh, you can now toggle on and off masks after wearing the skins you can already toggle off the head i'm pretty sure that means like helmets but you can already turn your head off and on so i'm not entirely sure what that's all about but there we go um and this one's a big one i actually brought this up in one of my last uh maintenance update videos that people were complaining about not being able to pick up a structure and place it back down um if they didn't like the way they placed it um i'm assuming Based off this description, you can now take back a building if it is not attacked within 10 seconds once you've put it down. I'm pretty sure there just might be some translation issue there. Take back, pick up a building as long as it's not attacked within 10 seconds. Um, we'll have to test that out in game if that's true. Awesome. All right. And that's new content, even though some of that really doesn't seem like new. It just seems like, well, it's added content. Um, picking up buildings turning off stuff that seems more like an optimization than it is new content but uh yes i like it especially number six if that's true all right moving on so optimizations increase the uh pollinization of common farmlands fertilization so maybe that's the auto thing where it restores we'll have to double check that uh adjusted the uh quests and changed some of the quest descriptions for the exploratory stuff um, adjusted some of the daily quest types and added in some resource gathering quests. That's good because the variety really needs to change. Getting whole wood all the time right now has been very boring. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully we can get some new stuff. Like make me go get some whole stone or rare stone or something. I don't know. Um, adjusted map, uh, functions added in some new, uh, show current location button in the bottom, right? Um, uh, let's see, adjusted the market interface it added in some filters for some different categories that's good because we do really need more categories um and uh added a new search function um for fuzzies furzies I'm, I'm pretty sure that's for beast lords i think they were just trying to be fancy with that <laughs> fixed the wrong description for cross server cooldown 
um, adjusted the resource linear interface for the boundary marker. This has to do with the selling to the boundary marker. Adjusted, if you did not enter the protection time um, at the boundary marker, it will not, uh, you will be, you, wait, you will make you unable. It will make you unable. God, they really need to work on their English translation. Um, <laughs> adjusted, if you did not enter the protection timer at the boundary marker, it will make you unable to save the setting so I'm, I'm guessing they made it so you can now uh fix the wrong description when the character uh requirement level is not high enough um there will be a double check um interface for releasing a mount from large stable now so you don't accidentally bring it out um now you can check the horse's stats now um when they're in the stable which is good they adjusted some option for farmlands, adding a double check interface when placing them down. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, you can now preview difference between crude and fine repair for the weapons. That's really good. Uh, change the food consumption display uh, per hour in the animal pen. That's actually better because like sitting there trying to determine how much food they were going to need per hour or per day has been getting annoying because, okay, they are consuming 0.022% food a second. Okay. And then now you have to calculate that, which the, trust me, there's no problem doing that. I can do that. You know, I get like, you know, six and a half days of food left or four and a half days of food left. That's what I want to know. Like you have 172 hours of food left. Awesome. Make it simple. <laughs> don't make us have to do math. Like make us have to do math, but don't make us have to do that much math. Like trying to calculate exactly how much food we have based off of, you know, how much seconds they eat or how much food they eat per second. That was getting annoying and that's been something that's been part of the game for a long time but i mean if you knew you knew how much time you had but yeah anyways um fix the item description for personal resources collection buildings um this is mostly a pvp thing uh change the level requirement for beast lord equipment from 55 to 59 now god why don't you just just make it 60. why 59 that's such a random such a random level um and i'm not entirely sure why they did this i mean it's already a pain in the butt to get to 55 for some people so getting to 59 eh, whatever i mean okay um material officer uh can now be teleported to the direct location of the uh for the instance um uh, the protection time for this has been reduced from five minutes to two minutes adjusted the ending screen for this instance adding um a final rating to each run npcs killed by towers no longer drop copper coins thank you that's a big one for people that have been doing that and uh adjusted this is a big one by the way adjusted the warrior location reset cooldown to five minutes from 30 minutes you guys that didn't know this used to be 30 minutes and it was annoying <laughs> 30 minutes was just not worth it. I would rather kill them than sit there and wait to do that again. And I've actually done that a couple of times. Um, and just buy a warrior spirit pill. They're cheap anyways. So, <laughs> so anyways, all right, bug fixes. Uh, fix crude planter not being able to plant high quality crops. You shouldn't be doing them anyways in a crude planter, but okay. Um, fix the server types, uh, not showing uh, current location. Uh, certain customizations um, fix the black iron long and meteoric hammers cannot be repaired so that should be repaired now fix the wrong icon for these hammers fix some of the wild farmlands that were not plantable on the new map um, fix the wrong display tax rate for the county settings thank you because that's been an ongoing thing fix holding the shield you will not be attacked by towers thank you um <clears throat> that was an issue before that, that was actually an issue before in the game too so it looks you know that was back by the way so uh fix the loss of reserved um proficiency while changing the interface into idle training um i didn't have that problem but i guess other people did fix the lack of description for item animal pens idable pens um Ah, yes, this is a big one. Fix the dressing table can not be accessible um, 
some guild members. Okay, yeah, God, English translation issues again. So they fixed the dressing table that was originally, you could only have one guild member per table, similar to the stables. They fixed it now, so hopefully, if this, if I'm translating what they're trying to say, they fix it so now everybody in the guild should be able to use a dressing table. Um, fixed footprint displays, um, fixed the taming grounds, could not be access within the boundary marker radius on pve servers and fix the new storage box that was not counting towards the total weight capacity yeah that could get a little op very quickly considering how much you can put in those things all right and then custom server settings um minting functions under cluster servers requires the player to collect them at the minting officer at the county entirely sure why that wasn't a thing in theirs but there you go and uh they added a plunder event switch for your server settings so you can turn that off or on if you don't care about it all right <clears throat> some pretty interesting changes uh, most of them definitely needed uh, some of these optimizations changes are definitely welcomed um bug fixes uh, yeah some of these were definitely needed as well um <clears throat> yeah and i'm really excited for the uh uh, being able to pick up a building if this is the if it's if i'm translating this correctly awesome if i'm not i apologized um, but now being able to pick up a building take back the building um, within 10 seconds if it's not attacked that's good that's really good because that's something a lot of people have been complaining about so yeah i'm excited for that hey guys all right so a little bit of an add-on to this video because this came up a about a I'd say an hour or two after I did the recording and I'm glad I caught it. Um, there are some known issues if you guys are unaware. Uh, it looks like the mining hut and fish trap um, not being accessible by guild members is back. So you will have to wait for a patch to get that fixed again. Um, they are aware of it. They are apologizing. It happens. Um, also, make sure that if you're on a horse, you are getting off to access the market. Apparently, the market cannot be accessed while on horseback. So you're going to have to go through a few extra steps there. Also, there are some translation issues in the gold token shop at the store tab that they are looking into as well. These popped up uh, shortly after the patch. So just be aware of that, that they are going to get those fixed yeah but anyways guys that is what was in the patch last night if you were curious as to what it was about and you were one of those people out there that are just too lazy to read them <laughs> i know you guys are out there because i used to be one of them once upon a time all right guys that's gonna wrap it up thanks for watching as always guys hopefully this a uh, little quick rundown of the update that happened last night and what it was about was useful to you if you guys have any other questions feel free to ask by the way guys my guides are slowly coming out i do apologize um if you are not aware uh my wife had a stroke a couple of weeks back so i kind of had to put a lot of my stuff on hold um the guides are slowly getting done and i am slowly getting those put out she's actually coming home today um she can actually walk a little bit better now so they are releasing her from the hospital and obligations there. So I will be busy with that for the rest of the day. But uh, other than that, guys, I will catch you guys later. Thanks again for everybody that has been um, sending their best wishes for my wife's recovery. Um, and also uh, thank you for everybody that has been subscribing and following and liking on the videos. You guys are a big help and a big support to the channel. I appreciate it. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions on other videos that you guys would like to see, anything that I might or might not be working on, don't hesitate to ask down below. And I will try to get that done as soon as I can. Anyways, guys, take care. Peace out. Catch you later.